planning session. So yeah, that's the purple calendar. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so yeah. what age groups is that? Is that the? We we, we started. In, in fact, it was it, it was the father of Romulo Lukaku who pushed us a little bit oh, right. uh, because at his period where he was uh, 14 years old, so 2000, I guess from 93, uh, 2006, 2007, yeah. he had the opportunity to put his two boys, Romulo and Romulo Lukaku, to Lille, to Saint Etienne, to uh, some French uh, teams where school and football were. Uh, yeah. Central formation. So, I and some and some colleagues who were thinking about how how we how are we going to handle this because it's a very interesting profile at that period. And so we started a, a, a kind of program which we call Purple Talents uh, Program, where we have um, in the school. So the, all the other people are are at eight thirty in the classrooms mm. for uh, a whole day. But the underleg players are coming out for one training session between the third and the fourth hour uh, mm. in the classroom. So they, they, they and, can. And, and what age does that start? It's, it's, it starts from uh, under 13 yeah. till under 18. So it's the age where you are going to the secondary school. Yeah, yeah. With some exceptions, exceptions the, yeah. very talented players. Who can also join from primary school, but oh, it wow. are under 11, under 12 players. And you are talking about philosophy of the academy. We are going to show you how we are managing uh, the stuff here since many years. Yeah. How we are sharing it with our coaches, and uh, how we are working, evaluating, planning uh, everything. Mm on uh, one software to give you an impression about okay. the way of working as I know that it's difficult in a few minutes to talk about something you build up since yeah. nearly two decades. Yeah, of course. Uh, so how long, how long have you been here? I, 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 I am a, a former youth player okay. uh, who played here from his eight years old till I was 20. I reached the large squad of the first team but then I left for more than 20 years and I came back as a coach under 17 in 2004 and since 2005 till now I'm the academy uh, responsible. You know the difficulty for, uh, for a director is that we are working with very young young players mm -hmm. from the age of 7 till the age of 18, 19 when they have to be ready to join the first team, the happy few or to leave the club, mm. the big massa, uh, to become ambassadors uh, of our club in, in, in many, many, many other uh, professional clubs in Belgium, or lower uh, divisions. And then of course we have a, a very small uh, group, and we call them ambassadors uh, for Anderlecht, but especially for the youth development uh, part which are Lukaku, which are uh, Tielemans, which are Praat, which are uh, all the guys playing in uh, big competitions like the Premier League, big competitions like uh, Primera Division or, or in Italy or uh, in the Bundesliga. So the, the, the most difficult thing to do is uh, not, not to put down a, a vision because I think many football clubs have a, an idea about how to structure um, the way of playing, how to structure the squad size, how to to develop uh, players and coaches, but um, I think in Anderlecht we have a very individual and special approach uh, that we describe thr throughout a, a game model that we share with you know t more than 30 trainers, more than uh, six or seven. Uh, performance coaches, uh, which we share with 220 youth players on different moments of the season, especially in the beginning, when we are talking about how are we going to play, which kind of profile of player do we want uh, to develop, and 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 how, uh, which which methodology do we use to uh, tra translate or to. To translate theory into practice in uh, the training sessions, 
and, and which kind of didactics do our coaches use to have a common, a common view, to have a common idea about uh, developing, but also to have a common language uh, when we talk about football and especially football uh, development. You can see that our, our main purpose is this. We have one central ID where at a younger age uh, we are focusing on body and ball mastery. Uh, the, 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 the profile of the player or the individual development of the player is much more important than the uh, collective development or results. Uh, we want to make better players, first of all. And we are convinced that how more better players you have in a team, how, how better your team will, uh, will make results. So body and ball mastery, uh, going to game mastery, and at the end, when they are 16, 17, 18 years old, for the first time in their career, they will have to focus on performance. Because, you know, winning is, uh, <laughs> at the end, always uh, important, so ability to play at young age, ability to play a game in the 8 against 8 and then ability to win and to perform once they, they become uh, 11 against 11 players. So that's a central ID and it seems uh, simple but uh, that you have to share with all your coaches, that you have to share with all your players but also with stakeholders which are the parents, the grandparents who are uh, involved by educating their own sons or uh, little sons, I don't know how to say it in English, but that's a little bit our central idea. And we are focusing, quand tu vas sur profil joueur, profile of the player, we are focusing on the translation or the transfer from individual talent, the potential of a young player, you are 8, 10, 12 years old, and our scouting department is detecting you in another team, in another club, in another national team. Uh, we will convince you to join our big purple fam family. And then starts for us the, the long way uh, to the game skills and to the, the, the performance throughout. We call it uh, an Anderlecht tattoo. You see the six or even the seven uh, moments in a game which are catching, keeping, progressing, creating, finishing and of course at the end winning. But winning a game in Anderlecht is always the result of all the other ingredients that you will find back in every uh, game. We have a profile in the 5-5, we have a profile description in the 8-8 and of course we have a profile uh, description in the uh, 11 against 11. When we click on 8.8, you see that the characteristics the from 8.8 are joining those you need in the 5.5, but especially for the first time in the 11 against 11, the players have also profiles, uh, how to say it, uh, a little bit corresponding with their uh, position on the pitch. So if I'm a, a central defender, I can click on the position uh, 3 or 4 and I will discover uh, all the capabilities and okay, we take Vincent Company as a big uh, example. We, we are describing all the different characteristics you need uh, in ball mastery, the technique, in body mastery, the physical approach and of course the mental approach and the, the, the smartness you need on the pitch. So I am a central defender, I can look about what am I managing, how uh, do I have to improve some uh, specific characteristics and how am I going to train on it. Uh, the same with the animations, uh, we are playing uh, in a 3-4-3 under 13 and the 14 to go <laughs> to go to the 4-3-3 uh, or specific uh, other animations. There is a kind of tactical flexibility from under 15 till under 23. When we are going uh, to look about uh, game model, there again we have, we, we have game model in the 5-5, we have a game model in the 8-8 and we have a game model in the 11 against 11 where all our coaches 
especially, but also all our players uh, are acclimated to, to, to know and to read and to hear from us which kind of football do we want to uh, produce, do we want to develop. And it's important that uh, all those stakeholders have the same idea about the same philosophy about uh, the animation or the playing style, like you can call it, in our uh, youth development center. And every single principle is as much as possible sustained by clips uh, from from the highest level possible, which is uh, the, 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 the Champions League level or the level of national teams, but also but also from uh, specific yes you, you can see it here the pro game examples youth game examples yeah. training sessions each principle and is each sustained principle by, uh, is sustained by by clips yeah. a handbook for every coach for every player that they have uh, at their disposal uh, we have a performance model a goalkeeper plan a mental plan and when we are going to the methodology we are we are asking to all our youth trainers to respect a kind of training structure. Why? Because I don't want to see coaches coming on a pitch with uh, the possibility to, to, to work 90 minutes with players without an idea about how are we going to handle, how are we going to structure, how are we going to define the themas of uh, which we are going to put into the training sessions. So we always start with a, a small warming up. We are working 25 minutes on a technical profile development of players uh, where the, the, the repetition, automatization of exercises is imposed, uh, going from easy to difficult to more complex and the quality is under control because there is no pressure. Uh, that, uh, no pressure from opponents and uh, we are going to uh, on an opposition games on topic games where of course like in every football game there is quality to deliver under pressure because there are opponents and that's a little bit the structure of all our uh, training content so warming up individual development going to collective animations topic games and of course cooling down. The ingredients, the didactics that we use, we are, we are asking to all our coaches when you are thinking about what am I going to propose to my players, ah, okay, you have a list of characteristics from whom uh, a coach has to know that they have to be as much as possible uh, introduced in the training sessions like many ball contacts what you do left foot, you do it with your right foot, so the bilaterality is important, uh, a cumulative degree of difficulty, and of course, uh, other uh, very important principles and didactics that all our coaches try to respect and to introduce in uh, a training session. We are always using kind of clip uh, or, or, or image about uh, a master chief uh, you know, the ingredients are there, but as a master chief, you, you have to handle it to, to become a great, a great uh, chef. And it's the same in football. You, you can propose to your team uh, exercises, but they have to be from high level. How to reach high level? Ah, okay. The 16, or se uh, 16 ingredients have to be as much as possible. Uh, introduced in our training sessions. So then, this this sort of structure of the session, same for every team, every every age group from yes, like we eight have to a kind of 16. freedom. The, the coach is a chief, right? So he, he has always the freedom to adapt uh, a little bit his training session based on today. It's a sunny, <laughs> shiny day. Yeah. Maybe he wants to do uh, a specific uh, finishing exercise because last Saturday. He was discovering a problem during his game. In the game evaluation that he shared with us, maybe he told us, oh, uh, 
my team had too much difficulties in the transition. My team had too much difficulties to score on right. uh, on, 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 on free kicks. My, my, my team had too much difficulties to, to regain the ball. So we give them freedom, but controlled autonomy. So they can develop a training session based on a specific program, individual or collective from the team, but if possible, respecting a kind of uh, fixed structure of 90 minutes to optimize the, the training time. You, if you have only 90 minutes a day to uh, deliver quality, you have to be sure about uh, mm. how am I going to, to manage uh, these 90 minutes and to build up a well-structured uh, kind of obligation to quantify their uh, training sessions. So we as responsibles, we can, we can have a look on the content of their training session and on the uh, themas they, they, they put they it's put not in. it's not complete but yesterday i saw the uh, the training of the u14 and you said the first part uh, are the uh, was dedicated to the body mastery it was the physical coach right. uh, who takes uh, who took the group uh, in the first 20 minutes then they glide with the assistant coach for the ball mastery uh, and to repeat uh, different exercise with the ball. It was the first part of the of the of the training session, and then uh, here we were in the player profile yeah. to glide in the second part of the playing style uh, with an opposition game. And the the the, the, the main topics uh, was on the uh, recovery of the ball, the transition moment. If the team lose the ball, they have to react and to uh, try to recover uh, fast, uh, faster the ball. Uh, but uh, it's, it was a, a, an opposition uh, opposition game between three times. Uh, we 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 have a, we we didn't have a, not a keeper, uh, and then it was a opposition. And last uh, part, uh, the the game uh, principle topics games was dedicated for the transition moment uh, with the 1v1, 2v1. Uh, they, were, they, they were starting with the 1v1 to transfer to a 2v1 in the recovery and transition moment and to uh, finish with a 3 against 2. And uh, then uh, for me, the, 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 the training session was very uh, divided with the three uh, different mm -hmm. principles. Uh. So in, can you go back to the other slide you had? Yeah. So, so just because obviously what ball mastery is a big passion of mine. Tell us about the ball mastery stuff. At body, the master, body mastery and is uh, and the and general yeah. uh, development of the of the player yeah. uh, without the ball. It's a physical part uh, yeah. of the of the development. And if you come uh, back here in the profile player, you have the general characteristic, yeah. and we try to uh, if we uh, speak about uh, general motor skills. Uh, you have the standard rhythmics, dynamics, uh, you have the coordination, you have the speed, you have the motor skills, yeah. uh, different characteristic and sub characteristic to put into your training session. And it's uh, in, um, into the game performance, uh, okay. all the, the performance department mm -hmm. and the physical coach in relation with the age of the, the player yeah. uh, put uh, in the training session uh, one, two times per week uh, in this training session. Okay, can I look at the ball mastery part? Ball, ball mastery, mastery part, if you, if you come on the ball mastery part, yeah. you have different model. Okay. Uh, you have the model's yeah. uh, standard model, you have the juggling, you have driving, hooking, turning, yeah. you have the different sort uh, kind of dribbling, yeah. uh, the feints, purity of shooting, passing, crosses, is very dedicated to the uh, individual development without the opponent. And you have to make some repetition with the, uh, some didactics uh, skills you have seen, uh, and then we, we try to to create some automatization uh, with uh, uh, an ID or a game situation uh, we want to to develop. So who does this bit? Is it is it all the coaches do that, or do you have a specialist doing the ball mastery? Do you have a no no no? All of the coach use the same uh, planning quantification, yeah. but they are free to choose. Right. Which mod module they want to to uh, to work? Uh, uh, Saturday, 
uh, we we look to the to the game and we analyze uh, the problem in the shooting out of 16. We make the analysis and we show uh, with the player uh, we'll show them the 16. In a few and they have and they have to to yeah to improve uh, this kind of uh, technique mm. skills. And then in a few days, the coach uh, have to uh, plan a moment with the uh, body ma uh, ball mastery and the shooting module uh, in his uh, training session. Uh, and a lot of that is 1v1. Is 1v1 an important part of the, the philosophy? The 1v1 the situation is uh, the most uh, part uh, of our 5-5 five five, uh, department in the academy. Uh, because uh, if you if you if you see or uh, Heidi uh, and I come back on uh, or philosophy, the central ID uh, and Mr. Kinnamard, Mr. Kinnamard uh, explained ability to play, but we play five against five. But it's not important to play with uh, a formation. It's important to on each position to 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 take the initiative with the one v one. And the 1v1 is the, 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 the only the, the, the situation we work in the 5-5 five five, uh, training session. And we repeat uh, the, 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 the dribbling to uh, eliminate, uh, the dribbling to protect the ball, the dribbling to, uh, to take the space. Uh, it's different module uh, of the 1v1. You have to um, uh, soigne, uh, you have to, uh, to care uh, the, the, the pressure of the, of the opponent. You have the frontal, you have the lateral, okay. back here pressure, yeah. and uh, it's a different situation uh, we try to uh, input uh, in the 5-5. Five five. Also in the 8-8, uh, if I come back to the, pro the, to the profile player 8-8, eight eight, you see the, 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 the new situation, 5-5, uh, five five, only 1v1 to attack to eliminate, but 8-8, eight eight, you have to orientate your ball, you have to protect your ball. Mm. Uh, it's a two, uh, allez, two other new uh, kind of dribbling uh, we introduce in the 8-8. Eight eight. And, and for sure, in the 11s against 11s, we, we, we work more and more the principles of the game, but the initiative on the ball is always the most important decision-making moment to create uh, the majority uh, into the game. So that, so that technical work will continue all the way through yeah, the 18th, yeah, yeah, that yeah. The same beginning technical yeah, work. Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday you saw, uh, I, you yeah. see her, right? it's a 1v1 situation, 2v1, uh, uh, but you have to decide in 2v1, I, I, I want to eliminate and to shoot, yeah. without uh, your uh, majority, it's already a moment during the game, uh, you have to, uh, to take a decision uh, in a fast uh, moment, and we have to repeat, repeat, repeat. Uh, this and how time. how do you, you know, how do you how do you juggle or you know how do you deal with having developing the individual and developing the team as well throughout the academy? Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a, the reason uh, we want to present a, a, a structure, a general structure, and uh, and you are, you are right uh, because sometimes uh, and uh, for sure for the five five eights against eights. It's more important to develop uh, this situation uh, to create more uh, possibilities for the players to take in, in uh, fact, initiative the with the ball. The answer is 25 minutes of player profile, which yeah. is more individual approach, yeah. Yeah. Uh, going to playing style and yeah. going to some game principles. Yeah. So during one training this session, one? Yeah. you have a, an individual approach going to a collective and animation yeah. approach. You have you have uh, this 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 fifty percent of the training uh, content is more a turn to the collective principles, yeah. and here you are more only uh, fifty percent for the individual player. But the coach is free to adapt, uh, yes, with the, the the problem of the quality uh, yeah. of uh, his group to yes to to, to to see okay today we work only to the to the this those parts. And, uh, and uh, maybe the, the, the other training, uh, you repeat maybe the first part and you glide for the, the, for the third part. I, you have always some flexibility to, to add up uh, in relation with... Uh, and and what, what do, when, when does it become more position specific, that individual, that prior profile In the 15. In the 15. The 15. In the 11 against 11. Yeah. Uh, it's a characteristic uh, in our uh, ID uh, of our game model. 
uh, in the 88 and uh, 55, uh, we have not uh, flexibility for the formation, but we have a versatility with the multi-position. Each guy uh, have to play uh, with uh, uh, on different position uh, and to turn during the game uh, on uh, two, three different position. Maybe his best position and sometimes another position where uh, they have more problem to solve uh, a situation. And you have to analyze and to uh, to work during three uh, three season. And at the end uh, on the head head, we have to decide. Which position for the 11s against 11 this player uh, is ready to, to, to play in this uh, formation? Mm -hmm. And we, we, we built uh, a formation for the 11s against uh, 11, and with the uh, scouting department, we had the talent of the, the other club to, uh, uh, to the formation and maybe a, a, a position, a missing position for our for, for team. How many hours a week do they train? So maybe two, three sessions for a week? Central for for, for uh, central ID. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's maybe mentioned it's yeah. there. Normally, normally, no. You have the time we play no, for the game okay. here. Yeah. Uh, we play five times uh, 15 minutes. In, yeah. uh, in fact, we need, we need a, a schedule of the purple talents. Yeah, but uh, I don't have uh, the, the program. Normally, normally, each team uh, train uh, four prends, times. Prends PSD. Si tu prends PSD, ah si yeah, if yeah, you yeah, take maybe. PSD, our okay. software, and you take the, uh, the, the, yeah, planning. the planning of one team, okay, yeah. we will discover the number of training sessions. Et peut-être aussi Purple Dance, si c'est mentionné. Uh, oui, je vais le, le faire, mais... Uh, Et là, tu sélectionnes une, une équipe. Oui, oui, je vais des supprimer, je vais prendre les 14 et je vais peut-être prendre les U12, comme ça j'ai... This is a weekly shot schedule okay. of an 11 against 11 team, of a 5-5 team and of an 8-8 team, so different age categories, yeah. but meanwhile they are trading four times in a week, 90 minutes in the evening but some of our most talented players are joining us in the morning sessions in the school I explained to you, yeah. the Purple Talents program. So two times in a week on Tuesday and Thursday, they have also, I in think, in 80 morning. minutes uh, training in the morning. So it means that when we make the addition of the training minutes for an 11 against 11 player, yeah. We are around 540 minutes, minutes in a week. Okay. Yeah, so, so there you can see easily Monday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday a little bit Wednesday. earlier in the afternoon. Yeah. And uh, of course the so morning three. sessions. So, so you have four, have four sessions a week, then a game, and then the morning sessions as well. Yeah. yeah so you have six, six hours. You have six sessions. 90 minutes. Six, yeah. uh, Can I just see the under nines, one under nines team there? Can you add the under nines? So yeah, five against five. Yeah, the five, that's it. Have a look at that. So then the, uh, so the nines are trained. It's the same. Uh, they have Three. four moments uh, so for the training session, nice week. but specifically the Monday they have a multi-move session in uh, this school Redoute because it's a gym uh, indoor, right. and you have uh, specific material to to work okay. in, uh, in this situation. And here uh, they are working in the futsal. Ah. Uh, we introduce uh, futsal uh, in our program uh, five five yeah. two times per month, uh, I think. Okay. So they have four sessions, once one this week, once a multi yeah. mu multi sport, multi move, yeah. like a body yeah. mechanics, yeah. Yeah. one futsal session, two normal sessions. We every don't game. want to focus too early on specific uh, football. No, sessions. no preparation like for the game. It's very only uh, individual development. Right, interesting. And for the head head, is a similar. Same. Uh, take the U12 for training moments during yeah. the week. Okay. And they have a physical coach for part of the training uh, session, the Wednesday or the Tuesday, depending the uh, availability of the coaches. Yeah. Okay, cool. Interesting.